Live from Richard's kitchen table. <laughs> it's Alt Mile Brave deck profile before the new Brave support comes out, so this is the last wave of stuff. Um, so I'll make this quick. So, starter is again the Resurgent Knight Steus, so GB1, if you're in Brave, you can shove him in Sold, you have something plus 5k, at the end of the turn, bounce it. So, hooray for pressure. It's a good starter. It's probably gonna get replaced by the Make Brave Active All the Time guy. Um, four copies of Blue Balls Knight Salt Mile. So, uh, stride skill, it went, uh, you call up to two things, counter blast, you have two things plus 5k. So, pretty good. Uh, there's not much to say about it. If you guys have watched the other ones, you know how it is. GB2, Front Row gets plus 5k. He's good. Um, four copies of... What's the... Okay. Knight of Persistence, Full Genius. So, uh, when you ride him, you can counter blast... Or, not counter blast. One discard a card, call a grade 2 from deck. If the card you called has Brave, at the end of the turn, you bounce it to your hand. So, uh, it's like a pseudo-sanctuary guard, so it's a really good backup ride. And then the other skill is, uh... What is it? Brave. When he attacks a Vanguard, it's plus 5k for each grade 2 rear guard you have, so it's not uh, really that good. You typically want to just like get your grade 2 out on ride and then stride over him. Um, I like him a lot, but uh, new alt mile is going to replace him, so that's life. Uh, one copy of Knight of Flight Danius. So he gets plus 1k for every uh, other Brave unit. Uh, and then GB1 Brave, you can counter blast one, uh, give him plus 2k, and then at the end of the turn you bounce a Brave unit that's not him. So, uh, this allows for some early game numbers. It allows you to clear your field if you're playing against control. Um, I like him as a one of. It's a fun tech. Uh, one copy of Knight of Fragments. So, if you have another grade 2 on hit, Soul Charge on Flip. Um, or on hit Vanguard, Soul Charge on Flip, and then also he's an 11k. I uh, can't wait to take this out when we get a better counter charge engine, but for now, we, did, we got a counter blast problem. So, uh, three copies of Hope Song Angel, aka Hope Bay Angel. So, when you ride or call him, counter blast one, soul blast one, call somebody with Brave from deck. Uh, really good, allows early rush, it allows you to fill your field with, you know, from calling him from a different effect, get him a booster. Uh, aerial All Mile Mates in 11k, and he's not GB1, so early game, fun. Uh, Three copies of Escort Eagle, so he's got Resist, and then uh, GB1, when he is on Guard Circle, if you are in Brave, he gets plus 5k shield. So it's really fun to have two of these in the front row, and be like, come at me, Link Joker. Yay! And then also it gives you some defense, which Brave's, uh, Brave desperately needed. So uh, Three copies of Knight of Twin Sword. Um, Amber Clone, still a good card. Uh, I don't use Suleiman in this deck. At the moment, uh, I'm sure it'll, make, it'll come back with uh, all the new Brave stuff, but I just didn't like it for the time being. So, you know, you're going to have a full field most of the time, so this is just a good card to have. Uh, two copies of Scouting Owl. Uh, GB1, if you're in Brave, when you get attacked, you can Soul Blast, move him to Guard Circle, and then he gets uh, plus 5k shield, so he's like a 10k Interceptor from the back row. Uh, he's searchable with Hope Song. He's a good card. Um... Four copies of Headwind Knight Salim. So if you get an Alt Mile Vanguard, he's treated as grade two in deck. Uh, so that's pretty much all the time. Even if you're on uh, Full Genius, you can stride into Aerial or Transcending Alt Mile and get the same effect. And then also Brave, he gets plus 3k. So uh, if you're going, you know, Jazz Hands, Empty Hand, uh, he's a 10k booster. Um, or if you just attack with the rear guard first. So. He's good to have. Uh, he, it, it means it allows you to call grade twos when you don't have grade twos. So fun. Uh, four copies of the Stride Fodder. It's a G deck. You want to be on all mile. You stride with it. Good card. Uh, four copies of Holy Night Guardian. Um, we have a Counter Blast problem. Uh, we can replace rear guards easily. This is pretty much the option. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen when we get that new PG, but for now, this is how it is. It's still a good PG to have. There's a reason it's getting reprinted. Um, for triggers, we have three copies of Sarudal and three copies of Encourage Angel. So, six stand. Uh, Sarudal still is GB1 when he's uh, placed on rear guard if you're in Brave. At the end of the turn, you draw a card, shuffle him back in deck. And then Encourage Angel, when she's put on rear guard, you, get, you can give two units plus three and shuffle it back in deck. So, this allows you to empty your hand for the turn and then get something back for it. So, Sarudal gets your card back, Encourage Angel gets you numbers. Um, 
Stand traders allow us to be more aggressive with the early game where you can attack with rears and then attack with man and restand stuff. Uh, draws are stupid because this is brave, and um, 12 crit I'm just not a fan of. So, uh, let's see. Then we have two random crit of your choosing, and four copies of Bringer of Dreams Bellinus. So Bellinus is the Heart Thumb clone. This again allows you, whoops. <laughs> this again allows you to uh, trigger Brave because you can just like throw your hand down and then you can get your uh, card back by putting him in soul and drawing. It also helps slightly with the soul problem. So good card, random crits. Um, and then four, Yggdrasil Maiden Elaine, because OG. Uh, let's see. And then for the G deck, we have two copies of Blazing Sword Fetus. Fetus. Uh, so his skill is act, you can dis uh, discard a card, turn a card in G-Zone face up. Then you call a grade two from deck. If the thing you called was a brave card, you draw a card. Um, and then he also gets GB3 when he attacks. You choose two, uh, one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. Then choose two of your units and give them plus 5k each. Uh, so this is oftentimes a first stride where you don't want to flip him because then it's just going to whiff. So you would either flip Aerial Divine Knight Altmile to set up Transcending, or you would do Plotinus to get more calls later. Or if you really don't care, you can do Seabreeze for it. But um, he's a really good first try, and then also it gives us a source of Retire if you G-Guard and then go into him. You can kill your, kill Broken Hearts in the back row or whatever, so it, it, it's a good card. Um, I'm probably going to up it to three when we get the new Brave stuff. We'll see how it is. <clears throat> Let's see. Four copies of Aerial Divine Knight Altmile. This is the reason the deck is so expensive, and I got them for $5 back in the day. <laughs> uh, his skill is when you stride, you flip over a copy of him. Your front row gets plus 3k, and then if after you do that, you have two or more cards face up in the G-Zone, you call a grade two from deck, it gets plus 5k. So this not only allows you to fix numbers on your field and get a free unit uh, if you're, you know, GB2 or more, or, yeah, it's GB3 or more, uh, it fixes the name. So, very good card. One transcending the heavens alt mile. So uh, his skill is uh, GB2, you counterblast one, turn a card and uh, G's on face up. Then your front row gets plus 2k for each aerial divine knight alt mile. So if you went into it already, that's plus four. And then if you flip it, it's plus six. Uh, typically, what you'd want to do is go fight his flip aerial, aerial by himself, and then this flip the last aerial. So you have. You know, plus 8k to the front, and then still on attack, you color grade 2 from deck, you have a plus 5k. So this can be a finisher. It can also be used to put on good pressure, and again, like I said, it can be... Uh, oh, you need an all-mile heart. So it does not fix name, but still really good. Good card. Uh, four copies of Knight of the Rainbow... Divine Knight of the Bra Rainbow Brocade Plotness. I call him Ronnie James Dio. Um, so act brave. You counterblast one, soul blast one. Uh, and choose card in G-Zone, turn to face up. For every copy of him face up in G-Zone, you call a grade two from deck. And then also he gets, after doing that, GB3, if you have five or more rear guards, he gets plus 10k in a crit. Um, typically I use this as a finisher because you get your full field and then you're trying to you know ram, ram that down your opponent's throat. Or uh, you can use it just like to you know fill your field a little bit, do some stuff, empty out your soul, put that perfect guard in the drop zone. This is probably going to come out when we get, uh, you know... Brave Lancer and all that good stuff. I really love his art. I wish he didn't have to leave, but I like him. So, for now at least, uh, one copy of Seabreeze. It's a stride deck. You know, you want to get your GB1 skills off. Uh, right now, it is three copies of Holy Laser Dragon. Um, that one where you need two grade two rear guards to get the plus 10k is awful. Screw is probably not a good idea because you have to discard a card and sometimes your hand's really low, so that doesn't help, uh, ironically. Um, but if he's placed on rear guard, if you have a grade 2 rear guard, he gets plus 5k shield, so that's pretty easy to pull off. Um, yeah. The, the one with, where you need two grade 2 rear guards, it's continuous, so if you do that, then intercept, it goes away. So this guy's good. Uh, when we get the Knight of Godly Defense, or whatever her name is, it's probably gonna go down to one, and two of her, but, yeah. And then one Dismal, because, uh, pretty much a staple in every deck. So, uh, I know that was rather slapdash, but, uh, it... You know, it's what's changed since last time, and uh, it's probably gonna it's gonna change again. But I thought you'd all like to see. Comment, subscribe below. We'll see you next time.